It is probably the best kept secret in the crypto space. Who is Satoshi Nakamoto? On the 21st of October 2008, so in the year where the global economy was in a very poor state, the Bitcoin white paper called Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, was published under the name Satoshi Nakamoto, which is probably an alias. Almost everything that is known about Satoshi comes from emails and forum posts on bitcointalk.org that are achieved now. Bitcointalk.org is a forum that has been created especially for discussions around Bitcoin. Even the persons that worked with him on this project only did this via email. The idea behind Bitcoin was summarized by Satoshi Nakamoto in the cryptography mailing list as follows. I've been working on a new electronic cash system that's fully peer-to-peer -peer with no trusted third party. The main properties, double spending is prevented with a peer-to-peer -peer network, no mint or other trusted parties, participants can be anonymous, new coins are made from hashcash style proof of work, the proof of work for new coin generation also powers the network to prevent double spending. After this publication, the first Bitcoin block was generated in January 2009. Nakamoto therefore also was the first Bitcoin miner. In February 2009, he published Bitcoin's open source code. According to WhaleAlert, a blockchain tracking provider, Satoshi is said to have 1,125,150 Bitcoin in his wallets and thus is said to be one of the richest persons in the world. Until now, these Bitcoin have been left in these wallets, but some critics are afraid of him influencing the decentralization of the cryptocurrency as a whale of its size. Likewise, a sellout of all of its Bitcoin or part of the amount would lead to a massive decrease in price. Theoretically, there is also the possibility that Nakamoto does not have access to his wallets anymore. Other people assume that the Bitcoin inventor might not be alive anymore, because there is neither a sign of life nor have any Bitcoin been moved in his wallets. Here a short fun fact. This year Bitcoin made it into the Guinness World Records, amongst other things as the first decentralized cryptocurrency. From 2008 to 2011, Nakamoto is said to have participated in the development of the Bitcoin project, but afterwards he disappeared from the picture. The last publicly known email seemed to have been sent from him on 26th of April 2011 to another Bitcoin developer. In that email he allegedly talked about being involved in other projects. In 2014 there was a one-time posting in a forum by Nakamoto, but apart from that it has become very quiet. Since that were a lot of speculations about the person that set the ball rolling regarding cryptocurrencies. In many articles people speculate about Nakamoto being from Great Britain, because his emails and postings frequently contained British spelling. But Nakamoto might also have studied in Great Britain and, and come from a totally different country. In the course of the years there have been a lot of candidates that were considered to be Satoshi Nakamoto. At the end I will also present a possible candidate you probably have not thought of yet, but I'm pretty sure that you know him. Candidate number 1 Dorian Prentice Satoshi Nakamoto Apart from the obvious fact that he also has Satoshi Nakamoto as surname, the journalist Leah McGrath claimed to have found out in 2014 that this man is the Bitcoin inventor. In his role as a physicist, he allegedly worked on secret projects for the military. When he lost his employment, his liberal position is said to have intensified. When Dorian Nakamoto was asked about the article at a later time, he stated to have never heard of Bitcoin, but to only have dealt with this topic after the publication of the article. Candidate number 2 Hal Finney Many people consider him being the candidate for the true identity of Satoshi Nakamoto, and there are several reasons for that assumption. He has been involved in the Bitcoin topic directly from the beginning and was also very active in the Bitcoin community. Moreover, he was the first person to receive Bitcoin in 2009 from the Bitcoin inventor personally. This is the reason why many people think that he is Nakamoto and that he sent the Bitcoin to himself. He was also the first person to download the Bitcoin software recommended by Nakamoto. He also actively worked on the Bitcoin protocol. That is proven by emails that have been exchanged between Finney and Nakamoto, where they talked about the elimination of technical issues. Furthermore, he had been interested in cryptography long before Bitcoin came into play. Therefore, he was part of the mailing list, just like Wikileaks founder Julian Assange, by the way, whose members received the link to the Bitcoin white paper at a later point. The fact that he used to live near Dorian Satoshi Nakamoto led to even more speculations. 
In 2009, Hal Finney also published a legendary Twitter post that said, Running Bitcoin, because he was the first person apart from Satoshi that ran a Bitcoin full node. The programmer is no longer alive, but he constantly emphasized not being the inventor of the Bitcoin. Candidate number 3. Nick Szabo In 2015, the New York Times published an article where they explained that Nick Szabo was indeed Satoshi Nakamoto. There were definitely several signs, indicating that the programmer could be the Bitcoin inventor. In the 1990s, the cryptograph had already developed a cryptocurrency that he called BitGold. This one has never been launched, but there were some similarities to Bitcoin. For example, Sabo wanted to solve the double spending problem, which was the goal of the Bitcoin as well. In 2008, before the Bitcoin white paper was published, he also asked for support in the web, because he wanted to keep working on BitGold. After the publication of the Bitcoin white paper, Sabo dated the release date of the request for help ahead. The question that arises here is whether he simply wanted to avoid speculations or whether he did it to disguise his identity. Moreover, Sabo was the one to invent the concept of the smart contracts. That is why many people consider him a genius. Another sign was that linguists in the year 2014 compared texts that Sabo had published with texts of Nakamoto and they found surprising concordances in the style of writing. But Sabo denies being the Bitcoin inventor to the present day. In 2011 he said the following Myself, Wai Dai and Herr Finney were the only people I know of who liked the idea, or in Dai's case his related idea, enough to pursue it to any significant extent until Nakamoto Assuming Nakamoto is not really Finney or Dai. Something that distinguishes him from other candidates, like for example Hal Finney, is that he and Satoshi did not exchange any emails. That could be a sign that he is Satoshi himself. Candidate 4. Craig Stephen Wright The Australian Craig Stephen Wright was the first person worldwide to claim that he was Satoshi Nakamoto. This claim was even published on his website. He is also working in the computer industry and is an entrepreneur. He stated that he had developed Bitcoin with his deceased friend Dave Kleinman. Already in 2015, a newspaper claimed that he was Nakamoto because he had published in his blog a white paper for cryptocurrency and he himself had claimed in several emails to his lawyers that he was Nakamoto. Wright is also said to have claimed owning the keys for the very first Genesis block and being able to move the Bitcoin from there but he has never been able to prove that. Therefore, it is assumed that Wright is not Satoshi Nakamoto. Let's be honest, it is very unlikely. Nakamoto has completely disguised his identity, has not left any hints to his abode and then claims in public to be the Bitcoin inventor but then fails to prove his statements. That sounds pretty absurd, but who knows. It also seems to be proven that he had forged several emails and contracts serving to prove his identity. Now let's talk about the last candidate that I've already mentioned in the beginning. Candidate 5. Elon Musk In 2017, a man named Sahil Gupta, who worked as an intern at SpaceX, claimed that Elon Musk was Satoshi Nakamoto. A spectacular thesis, which is rather based on allegations, for example the fact that Musk knows the programming language C++ and is a problem solver. Gupta also stated that he had talked to an employee of Musk named Sam Teller that had not objected to the whole topic. These were the reasons for the assumption of Sahih Gupta. Musk himself also said that the statement was not true. There are several more candidates for the true identity of Satoshi Nakamoto, but the ones I showed you here in this video are the most popular ones, with the most suspicious facts. But one thing is absolutely certain. The invention of Bitcoin turned the whole financial system upside down. The mystery surrounding the Bitcoin inventor has not been solved yet. It is unclear whether Satoshi Nakamoto is a single person or even a group. There are also speculations whether Bitcoin was invented by an artificial intelligence, but in this case, it can be assumed that one person initiated that, because one person had to publish the white paper and interact in forums. Whether we will ever find out the true identity of Satoshi Nakamoto remains to be seen. But this mystery is also what makes it so exciting. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to support me.